Hello, my friends. How are you today? Well, I'm working on this uh, this Chinese uh, New Year for them in the sign of the Water Tiger for 2022, and it's um, for February 1st when that's the Aquarius New Moon, I believe. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, actually, before tarot, I was really into the the I Ching, the little book that tells the truth. This is what I kind of started working with before tarot. And um, it, it kind of is very m mystical and, uh, you know, Chinese wisdom is thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. And um, it just taught me a lot. So I'm going to take us through... And I'm going to, um, here's the deck with, I'm going to pull a card for every um, zodiac sign. Okay, so 12. But I just wanted to open up with a little bit of information here so you understand. But now for um, this year, especially, um, we're going to, for the tiger now, um, in in um, China, the tiger is like one of their most, um, how do you say, like, the king, you know, of all the animals, majestic. Uh, it's it's very powerful for them. So this is very um, going to be like a to focus on power, pretty much. And um, it, it's fascinating. That's why I had to do it. And, you know, and, and you can tell in my little I Ching book as well. <laughs> like I said, this is the first divination I truly started studying way back in the like in the early 2000s or something like that. But so, so this, and then the last time, if I'm correct, so this um, tiger year, the last time it happened was in, I want to say 1962 or something like that. You know, it's just because they've got all these animals. And so it's, um, and then it also works with thunder, water, mountain, wind, fire, and lake. It, it's just, Anyway, I don't want to get in too much into it, but this the tiger does speak of like a great deal of majesty, you know, majestic and um, being obviously ferocious and, you know, who's going to you know fight a tiger. OK, so it's like it, this is really that's why I had to do this. And it's a water tiger. So that's why I wanted to make this reading and I give. I'm going to pull some cards for every Zodiac sign to, to represent something for them. But um, this is going to be, I just thought it was be so powerful and I didn't want to not do something different, you know? And so it's, it's about, you know, like power and rebellion. And again, tiger. Oh, and that's a little tiger that I got when the, when the circus used to come to town. Um, I've had this little guy like 20 years now, but um, I brought him out just to bring the tiger <laughs> energy on the table. But this is going to be pretty like um, badass. <laughs> I think so. And so I'm sure the Chinese people are really. But now dragon is their most powerful and earth. And I do want to open up with this as well. Because this is really important. This is how they call this. The Chinese call it the images of nature. This is how you know, the uh, yang and yin um, represents. The two halves of this whole are called yang and yin. They are opposite yet complementary. Yang is creative, masculine, active, and light. Yin is receptive, feminine, passive, and dark. Yang is represented by the single line. Okay, so you can see how dragon is obviously um, uh, masculine energy. Three lines. So that's that's why he's like the badass dragon, of course. And then earth is uh, feminine, receptive, how we call it in the tarot. But yin is re represented by the broken lines. Okay, so here's dragon and earth. But these are the two most powerful um, cards or representation for the Chinese medicine, okay? Uh, speaking of yang and yin, okay? Dragon and earth, okay? So we can say dragon, father, dragon, and mother earth, right? So it's going to be male and feminine, female. Okay, yang and yin together make up the whole universe. This is how the Chinese believe, okay? Um, 
yang and yin together. Um, so yang, the dragon. So you can always remember dragon with the G, yang, energy. Okay, male. And then uh, yang and yin together make up the whole universe, which is in the which is in constant change due to the fluctuations of yang and yin. Any object, person, event, situation, thought, or emotion is a mixture of yang and yin qualities, right? And we all, you know, females, we can think male, you know, we can <laughs> think like a man sometimes and the men can think, you know, it's it's all, that's keeping the balance. And, you know, that's, that's a symbol from the Chinese too, you know, they just, they just need things, but... So the dragon is entirely yang and represents creative action. Okay, so that's the emphasis of the dragon, creative action. He is the noble power of light and air, imagination and will, entirely masculine. In Chinese mythology, he controls the clouds and waters and is, if not benign, certainly not malevolent like the European dragon. As the creative principle, he is the father of all things. Okay, so this is in Chinese what they believe in the dragon. And the golden dragon is like the most powerful of all. And then earth. Earth is entirely yin and represents fertility. She is dark and devoted, warm and receptive. She's the mother of all things, okay? And then here we're going to, I'm not going to, I'm just going to quickly read so you just can get a little thing, but then we're going to talk more. We're just going to pull some other cards that represent and will be easier from the book with pictures, okay? But for thunder, which this is thunder, thunder, the eldest son represents turbulence, shock, and arousement. Okay, so this is like, this is something else. I don't want to read that about fortune tellers. But anyway, so that's thunder. So you can see the two half lines and then the full line. So this is two feminine lines and one, you know, male, dragon. Okay. So then we have water. Water or chasm. Water or chasm, the middle sun represents danger or a deep, dark pit. Okay. So you can see, again, two feminines and one, the dragon in the middle. Okay. Or the male, male. Okay, okay, and this is why I got the dragon here too. Let's put this with earth, so the rocks of earth, the, the crystals, quartz stones of earth, okay? So then we have mountain. Mountain, the youngest sun, represents stillness. This quality has both positive and negative aspects, representing the highest peak of spiritual attainment versus an obstinate refusal to move and you know when you think about many of the people who go up to the mountaintops to just be on their own and go into that introspective time to talk to the higher powers that be represents mountain okay and then we have wind or wood wind or wood the eldest daughter represents gentleness this quality has positive and negative aspects representing persistent endeavor versus timidity Timid, timidity <laughs> and indecision. Okay, so we have wind and then fire. Fire, the middle daughter, represents warmth, clarity, and affection. Okay, fire as the daughter. And we're not, we don't have to memorize all this. I just want to just bring it out just so you can see how the Chinese made this all about the yin yang and all the different energies. Okay, and then lake. Lake, the youngest daughter, represents joy purity and truth. The powers represented by these eight basic images make up the natural universe. Okay, so that's how the Chinese believe. Okay, so and um, okay, so all right, so we're gonna now, I'm not gonna work with these because usually what you do, you take these cards right here and then you pull two of each and then you come up with a way to like, if I put all these cards together, I'm not going to do it this way, though. I'm pulling from this deck, okay, which already has images and stuff like that, okay? But when you are wanted to do a reading for someone with these cards, you shuffle them really well, okay? And then, okay, so you're going to pick two, all right? So I'm going to pick this one. And this one for one for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, so you'd pick two. And so I would have earth. Boy, that's nice. 
So Mamacita's already here. And Thunder, okay? Thunder. So we've got the, the Elite card of Earth, okay? Mama Earth and Thunder. And so you would go to the upper trigram first and you want to find Earth. So she is right there, number 11, okay? So you see Earth right there with the three feminine, all feminine, the dashed lines. And then you go to Thunder, right? Here's Thunder, okay, the eldest son. And then, so you go all the way over here, over here, 24. And so let's just see what it says in the book, what 24 is, okay? And 24 is, dun, 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 returning. Okay, so you can see Earth over Thunder suggests Earth over Thunder. This is, you know, how you would do it when you're just selecting with those cards, but I'm not doing it like that today. But I wanted to show you and that we did pull Mama Earth. That's really cool. So this is called Turning Back. Okay, and this is the picture, Turning Back. Okay, so I'm bringing out the cards with the pictures, Turning Back. Earth over Thunder suggests... Thunder underground, a warning best heeded, okay? There is no harm in brief excursions, but if you decide to return, success will come of it. Friends come back to you. Even the road bends here to lead you back. In seven days, a fresh start is favored, okay? So then, that's nice. That's good. That's positive. But it says returning, turning back. Basic meaning with earth over thunder. Um, there's no harm in brief excursions, but if you decide to return, success will come of it. Friends come back to you. Even this road bends here to lead you back. In seven days, a fresh start is favored. Okay, so for any of you, especially here, you know, we're entering now the next month of February, all new. So, you know, just take heed. Okay, so... All right, we'll put it in there and then, okay, so I liked it. I'm glad that came up like that, you know, but I'm just going to bring out the dragon card just to leave it out here because he's power player and let's let him and I got my little dragon here and we'll put him right here. Okay. Okay. So anyway, that's kind of the yin yang of how they do it. All right. Now these are all the cards that have the images, and I'll read from the little book here, okay? But um, what I'd like to do now is pick for um, um, every zodiac sign one card, okay? So um, let's see. So I got my little thing so I can remember. Aries first, okay? So we're going to go with Aries, fire sign Aries. Okay, so this is for Aries. Okay, Aries. All right, and we selected, okay, card number 35. Okay, and you can see, again, so here's Earth on the bottom. See, one, two, three, one, two, three. You see Earth is on the bottom of this. Okay, and then now we're going to figure out what this trigram is here. Okay, so, but I already numbered the, the cards, so we don't have, I don't have to start looking everywhere. Okay, 35. So Aries, friends. Zodiac sign for Aries. And, you know, this could be your sun, your moon, your rising, okay? But if you have um, Aries in your chart, in your Zodiac charts, then this is for you. Seeking reward, still trying to make progress, okay? Okay, so this first trigram is called fire. Fire over earth suggests the fires of the procession twinkle across the plain. And the basic meaning, having done much for his people, the prince is granted audience three times and receives many helpful gifts. Know that these gifts are not necessarily what he asked for and that there is no mention of good fortune or ultimate success. So again, the basic meaning for Aries here, having done much for his people, the prince is granted audience three times and receives many helpful gifts. Know that these gifts are not necessarily what he asks for and that there is no mention of good fortune or ultimate success. And you can see there's like the prince is saying, okay, but we'll, we'll just let it go right there. Okay. So this is what we're doing for Aries and I should have, okay. So we're at 14. So now we're going to go to Taurus. Let's pick a card for Taurus. Okay. 
All right, so now Taurus. So this is Aries, and again, that could be your sun, your moon, or your rising. But for Taurus, let's see what comes through. And we just want to harness this Chinese um, medicine for what's coming down here with this um, water tiger. Okay, 29. All right, so let's go to page or card number 29. Okay, so we want to harness this water tiger. And that's about really being another powerful, you know, animal that they work with. Okay, the tiger to them is also ultimate. Like, obviously, you know, we I believe in dragons, but again, you know, we don't see dragons around. But tigers we do. And so that's why this is really powerful. And the last time it came through, a water tiger sign was back in uh, 1962. Okay. All right, so, oh boy, Taurus, pay attention here. Okay, so this is water over water. Okay, water over water, all right? Water over water suggests a chasm in, in a chasm, danger within danger. Okay, so Taurus, please be cautious of anything or especially maybe if you're going to do some business deals and you're not sure, you know, don't. You know, don't be foolish. You can see the picture. Literally, the person is, you can see the robust water there. You know, you just can't walk through that. It's not a stream. Okay, this is, so pay attention in case you are, you know, having to pay attention to what's going on. Okay, so, and now, you know, Taurus ruled by planet Venus. So, you know, be, think like a woman at that time. Think like a female. Don't, don't. Not balls to the wall here. Okay, water over water suggests a chasm in a chasm, danger within danger. And the basic meaning, if you are alert, true-hearted, and confident, you can steer through this perilous chasm and survive. Okay, this is good. So again, if you are alert, true-hearted, and confident, you can steer through this perilous chasm and survive. Okay, my Taurus friends, and you know, <laughs> you know, you guys are, you know, you're that, that kind of, you know, aggressive, assertive. So just, you know, pay attention. Don't get caught up in crazy. Okay, please. All right. So now we have the air sign of Gemini. Okay. And Gemini's tarot card is the lovers. So let's see what comes through for Gemini folk. Air. Gemini, okay, let's just see, right, we have now, oh, did I put these cards upside down, I did my mistake, okay, okay, so this is number 50, okay, if you can see, they, see, see, they work with all the elements, earth, water, sky, you know, wind, thunder, that's, it's very fascinating to me, but, you know, it's not something you can just pick up, but, this was my first divination I ever, you know, learned before tarot. Okay, number 50, a cauldron of emotion. Okay, so this is for my Gemini friends. Emotion, so, you know, you're an air intellect sign, so just keep your emotions in check. Transforming what it cooks, a sacrifice. Okay, so now we have fire over wind, okay, so... Fire is in the top, and then the bot bottom three is wind. Fire over wind suggests a cooking pot on an open fire can spill or spoil when the wind rises. And the basic meaning, something you dearly love must be sacrificed. You cannot feel it now, but supreme good fortune, progress, and prosperity will result. Okay, my Gemini friends, so... Think it over, introspect, if you have something going on, a cauldron of emotion, transforming what it cooks, a sacrifice, fire over wind suggests a cooking pot on an open fire can spill or spoil when the wind rises. And the basic meaning, something you dearly love must be sacrificed. You cannot feel it now, but supreme good fortune, progress, and prosperity will result. Okay? So again, and we're reading these cards for whether it's your sun, moon, or rising, okay? All right, Gemini, so now we'll go to Cancer, friends, okay? 
Cancer. Water sign. Run by La Luna. Yes, we have this new moon coming in Aquarius. So, again, another air sign. So, let's see what it says for Cancer. Here we go. 32. Okay. All righty. So, 32. Which one is this? Okay. So, oh, this is a nice card. Okay, loyalty. This card speaks of loyalty. Thunder over wind. Again, thunder has, you know, two. Here we have thunder right there. Two lines you can see and a line there. Oop. Okay. All right. Thunder over wind suggests brief thunder overhead. The wind that brought it goes on and on. And the basic meaning for my cancer friends is stability brings prosperity and success. You will make no mistake. Therefore, if you loyally maintain the present situation, there is certainly advantage in going ahead with plans, but not in changing your basic pattern. Okay, cancer friends, so if you definitely got something going on, it says thunder over wind suggests brief thunder overhead, brief. The wind that brought it goes on and on. And the meaning, basic meaning is stability brings prosperity and success. You will make no mistake. Therefore, if you loyally maintain the present situation, there is certainly advantage in going ahead with plans but not in changing your basic pattern. Okay, so just keep doing how you've been doing because uh, it's going to be okay for you, okay? So don't give up. Keep on keep on going. Again, cancer, this could be for your sun, moon, or rising. Okay, for whoever has cancer. Now we're going to uh, fire Leo, ruled by the sun. Okay, let's see what Leo gets. Let's do something power-ups here. Ooh, 57. Confidence with gentle persistence is what I wrote there. Confidence with gentle persistence. Well, I don't think any leaders don't have confidence. My Lord. Okay, and then ruled by the sun is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, number 57. Dedication. Gentle persistence and effectiveness versus timidity, no, timidity, timid, being timid or indecision. Okay, so just go with a gentle persistence and effectiveness. You know, don't be like roaring like a Leo in everybody's face, you know, versus being or being timid, which I doubt Leos are timid. So wind over wind suggests. The wind in the woods, a gentle rustling. Okay, so you can see the two, um, the top and the bottom are the exact same uh, pre energy. Wind over wind suggests the wind in the wood, woods, a gentle rustling. Gentleness makes gentle progress, and perhaps this is enough for you. You can achieve more if you explore comprehensively. Define your goal firmly. Seek advice and consciously move forward. Be more confident for the winds are favorable. <laughs> okay, Leo. I don't know. Leo's going to be more confident, but that's awesome. So again, the basic meaning. Gentleness makes gentle progress, and perhaps this is enough for you with a question mark. You can achieve more if you explore comprehensively. Define your goal firmly. Seek advice and consciously move forward. Be more confident, for the winds are favorable. Okay? Well, that's nice for Leo. That's good. Confidence with gentle persistence. I wrote back in the day. Okay? Confidence with gentle persistence. Okay. So, let's see who's next now. Now we have um, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, the hermit. Okay, also Queen of Pernas, Pentacles. Earth Virgo, ruled by Mercury, planet Mercury. Okay, sweet Virgo. Okay, ooh, roll, ooh, I felt this one. Okay, all right, let's look at this one. 61, card 61. 
Okay. Sixty one. Serenity within. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is a nice, this is good. Okay, so, yeah, this is good, Virgo. All right, this is nice. Okay, for Earth Virgo friends, serenity within. And you can see he's got a boar. He's a, like a farmer with the boar. Security, confidence, good influence on others. Wind over lake suggests the freshness of the lake rises to scent the wind. Okay. Scent, S-C-E-N-T. So wind over lake suggests the freshness of the lake rises to scent the wind. And the basic meaning, cling firmly to what you believe. Then your sincerity will successfully influence everyone, even the most intractable opposition. A journey or move or important decision can successfully be made at this time of serene self-confidence. Okay, Virgo, so this is good. So the basic meaning, cling firmly to what you believe. Then your sincerity will successfully influence everyone, even the most intractable opposition. A journey or move or important decision can successfully be made at this time of serene self-confidence. Okay, real nice, real nice there. Yes, yes, yes. I like that one. Okay. Nice, Virgo. Real good. Okay, so let's go to the next now. We have Libra. Okay. Libra. Air sign. Also ruled by planet Venus. Okay. Let's see for my... Oopie, what did I do here? No, there you go. Okay, Virgo. And now for Libra. Okay, Ooh, right there in my hand, Wee number 37, okay, so for, yes, Libra, and your major card is justice, so let's see what 37 has to say here, you can see family concerns, okay, family concerns. Wood over fire suggests a fire in a hut, warmth and security. Okay, so you can see it's a couple and their child is there. Wood over fire suggests a fire in a hut, warmth and security. The basic meaning, fulfill your correct family role. Patience and loyalty at home will bring advantage to all members of the family. Okay. So you can see it's, it's, you know, it seems like everybody's hanging in there fine. So the basic meaning for the family concerns here for um, Libra friends, fulfill your correct family role, patience and loyalty at home will bring advantage to all members of the family. Okay, so that's positive too. That's good. Like, okay. So now we come to Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's see. Let me bring the dragon over here so I can bring these a little more. Whoop. Let's bring the dragon over here. I found this one day when, this is years and years and years ago. We were in Ocala. I, I don't even know. It's a kind of a bone, I think. But I always thought it's cool. We were out camping. I don't even know what it is, but I've had it forever. Hold on. Okay. So, keep the dragon here. Stand tall. Dragon. Okay. So, all right, Scorpio. So, let's see. You're ruled by the Mars. And your water sign. Okay, for Scorpio. Let's bring this up. 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 All right, and again, this could be for your sun, moon, or rising card. Scorpio. Okay. Number 10. Okay, so let's go to the little book that tells the truth. <laughs> the little book that tells the truth. Like I said, this the Chinese man, the way they 
Think it all out. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Okay, treading carefully, taking a risk. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so, okay. Let me see. Okay, for Scorpio. And see, Scorpio water sign. I'm just, you can see the water flowing like, okay, just dragon. And you can see the dragon, the three lines there, straight. Dragon over lake suggests the flying dragon risks a ducking, skimming so low across the lake. Okay, dragon over lake suggests the flying dragon risks a ducking, you know, skimming so low across the lake. And the basic meaning, if you take great care, you can tread on the tail of this tiger and live to enjoy success. Oh, Scorpio, I like this one. Okay. Okay, see right there? But look, if you take great care, you can tread on the tail of this tiger and live to enjoy success. And here we are on this water tiger. Scorpio, I think this could be a good one for you. Mm hmm. This is 2022. Definitely water sign, and that you can tread on the tail of this tiger and live to enjoy success. I don't know. I would take that seriously. My, <laughs> I would introspect and contemplate on that, my Scorpio friends. Okay? Definitely. That's awesome. If you can say, and now, now, you don't see even a tiger in this image, right? But, but the basic meaning is, if you can take great care, you can tread on the tail of this tiger and live to enjoy success. Okay. I don't know, Scorpio. I'm thinking that's all about for you when this reading came out. Kind of on top right now. Okay. And uh, now we have Fire Sagittarius, ruled by giant Jupiter. Okay, and uh, you're the uh, Tempest card. And Scorpio, you know, your major card is the Death card too for transformation, but seems like <laughs> just play with that tiger for a while. <laughs> that water tiger this year. Okay. Did I, oh, I put these upside down by mistake. Oh, I got caught up in Scorpio's reading there. Okay, so let's see what this one is. Attention to detail I wrote there back in the day. Okay, let's see. And again, this is, of course, this is for um, Sagittarius, whether it's your moon, uh, sun, or rising. Okay, so 62 speaks of safety in smallness, lying low, attention to detail. Thunder over mountain suggests when thunder fills the sky, wise birds seek shelter on the mountain. Okay, so safety and smallness, lying low, attention to detail. Thunder over mountain suggests when thunder fills the sky, wise birds seek shelter on the mountain. Okay, and um, in here we have the basic meaning. In changeable weather, Birds who fly too high may perish, while those who seek shelter sing happily. Be exceptionally cautious and conscientious, now for small affairs are blessed with good fortune, while greater ones may prove most dangerous. Okay, my darling, so, you know, just Sagittarius, the basic meaning in changeable weather, birds who fly too high may perish, while those who seek shelter sing happily. Be exceptionally cautious and conscientious now, for small affairs are blessed with good fortune, while greater ones may prove most dangerous. Okay, so just, you know, step by step, no, no, you know, going after, you know, the huge prize. Yeah, just, you know, everything in due time. Okay, everything always happens in due time. Okay, so now we have Capricorn, Earth Capricorn. Okay, and... Capricorn, you know, you're ruled there by Diablo, so, but, you know, right, we talked about that, can't kill the devil, demons never die, but we learn, 
much from the dark forces as well, right? That's that's what you know <laughs> works for us there. So very good. Okay. Oh, this is a nice card. Okay, Capricorn, you received a very nice card. This is about prosperity, safety, and peace and harmonizing. Okay. So this is nice. This is a good positive card, really. Okay. And this is also about the family. They really talk about, you know, uh, the Chinese are all about into their families, no doubt. Okay. Harmony. And it's a loving code. Prosperity, safety, peace, earth over dragon. Okay, here we go. This is why this is powerful too. We have earth over dragon. Okay, so this is really important. We were just talking about that when we opened up. This is earth right here. And then the dragon had the three lines. Okay, and that's like the two most powerful cards. Earth over dragon. Okay, so this is why this is really powerful for you, Capricorn. Okay. Earth over dragon suggests the dragon sleeps deep underground. His protection gives warmth and safety to all. Okay, let me read that again for you. Earth over dragon suggests the dragon sleeps deep underground. His protection gives warmth and safety to all. And you know, the Chinese believe, especially that gold golden dragon is all about protection for them too. So nice. This is really nice. I think... You know, this is wonderful, really. Basic meaning, the small and mean, so mean, M-E-A-N. Basic meaning, the small and mean now end, and the great and good now come, bringing peaceful progress, success, and prosperity. That's awesome. That's awesome, Capricorn. So the small and mean now end, and the great and good now come, bringing peaceful progress, success, and prosperity. Okay, so even though in tarot, you know, you got that Capricorn card there, but you know what? You're going to have this whole year. And remember, all these, all these represent for the whole year. Okay, not just for a time, not the, for the month or week or day. This is the whole year, okay, for this um, water tiger. All right, so let's pick up the cards here. And now we're going to go to air sign Aquarius. Aquarius, your tarot is the star card. So let's see for Aquarius what's going on. Okay. And we have stillness, spiritual silence. Okay, that's nice too. Okay, that's good for Aquarius, you know, because you're an air and you're in, you're always thinking a lot. You guys really do think a lot. And you like to, because you like to be the ones bringing forward you know, the first kind of things for people, you know, to develop and things. Okay, stillness, desisting, staying put, no change, spiritual silence versus obstinate immovability, okay? So stillness, so just chill out, desisting, staying put, especially here we are in this pandemic, <laughs> we're all staying put. So, but no change, okay? Spiritual silence. I kind of like that phrase. It's like going within. You know, take that that time every day, even if it's five minutes, 15 minutes, that you can just have, you know, pen and paper, a thought, a phrase, a, you know, something you want to write down, date it, and that's what is good. That's called, what I would, that's called spiritual silence to me. Okay, so desisting, staying put, no change, spiritual silence versus obstinate immovability. Okay, mountain over mountain suggests rock upon rock, solace and stillness. Okay, so that's pretty cool too. So mountain over mountain suggests rock upon rock, silence and stillness. Okay, and for those of you who maybe live by the mountains, maybe you can get away and, you know, Find yourself a little spot <laughs> near the rock and and just pen and paper and write your thoughts. Okay, and the basic meaning is silently rest. When all self-interest is abandoned, action is as blameless as inaction. Peace. Okay, so the basic meaning for my Aquarius friends is 
silently rest. When all self-interest is abandoned, action is as blameless as inaction. Peace. Okay, that's beautiful too. I like that card for you guys, Aquarius. I do. Really. I really do. Okay, my Pisces friends. And I'm a Pisces sun, so I'm curious here. What's going to happen? 311 girl here. <laughs> okay. One last pull for my Pisces friends. Sun, moon, or rising for you. It's all good. What do we have here? Oh, 15. Okay, 15. I don't know. I don't know that one from off. 15. Modesty. Okay. Okay, this is nice too. Okay, Pisces, and we're ruled by the Luna. Okay? Or our, our major icon is the Luna the moon okay and giant jupiter is our ruler okay modesty for my pisces friends whether sun moon or you're rising there moderation seeking a just balance okay okay moderation seeking a just balance and just is like like i guess like maybe justice balance you know something that is just okay so Moderation, seeking a capital J, capital B, just balance. And you can see it's in the boat, keeping that balance as well. Earth over mountain suggests, earth carried from a mountaintop raises the plane and lowers the mountain. Okay, so earth over mountain suggests, earth carried from a mountaintop raises the plane and lowers the mountain. All right, and the basic meaning, modesty brings success. The great and the humble should both act with moderation if they would bring their affairs to a satisfactory conclusion. Okay, so the basic meaning for my Pisces friends, modesty brings success. The great and the humble should both act with moderation if they would bring their affairs to a satisfactory conclusion. Okay. Well, there you go. Everything should be always in moderation. And, you know, nothing wrong with being, you know, humbled and, and modest and, you know, not conceited and stuff like that. Okay. Here, let me put these here on the top so you can see the last three card for the zodiac signs here. Because I can just tell you can't see them down there. Okay. And my little dragon. Put them over here. These are some stones I found, find on my property out here. They're all cool. Okay, my darlings. Well, this is a, something special I wanted to do, but I felt, um, you know, it would be good to do it with this water tiger. And again, remember that, you know, you want to just, you know, the tiger is obviously one animal that's very uh, oh, ferocious, but yet just you know, take on the energies of that water tiger. And water speaks of our emotions, okay? So don't, you know, become tiger in a mean way, but, you know, be in a stoic way, in a power stance. You know, when you have your power stance and people will take you and believe in what you have to say without trying to intimidate or trying to, you know, bully people, okay? So, but you just take the courage of, like a tiger, a water tiger, okay? And just know that's the coolest thing about the water tiger. He loves to swim, you know? So um, they're fascinating. The, watching tigers swim is so cool. I I, I, I even Google sometimes things on uh, YouTube just to look at... I, I'm fascinated by tigers. You know, that's why back in the day, this is like 20 years ago, but, you know, my husband back then, just, he said, oh, here, I gotta get you a little tiger. <laughs> you know, but... The thing is, you don't forget some of those animals that you can relate to, you know. But here we are, the water tiger. So go for it and just, you know, let's try to get out of this funk we've been in. I know I've been in a funk. I haven't been making too many videos, but I just want to take this, you know, especially the water tiger um, energies for 2022. And again, 2022 speaks of that six, that peace and harmonizing, that we can keep that balance. You know, we have to sometimes, you know, be ferocious 
but then we can have do it in a balanced way, okay? So that's what we, we need to do, okay, my darlings? Okay, well, I hope everyone is doing well, and I'm going to try to put the time zones for when each card came up, so it's going to take me a little time to figure that out, but again, this is for the whole year coming up, 2022, so think about your, you know, your sun, your moon, or your rising, or the whole, the whole what happened here, we had some nice reads really on everything, you know, I, I think everything came out in a proper balance as well, I'm using that word again, so, but all good, okay, my darlings, take care, love you all, happy 2022, and take care of yourselves, and, and you know, just let's keep a pace going, you know, certainly easy, uh, not easy, but I mean, the respect that we don't make it more difficult for ourselves. Okay. Think it before you say it. Okay. <laughs>